I'm going for speed and looks. Hopefully, I got enough horsepower, a sleek car design, that I'm going to just get out from underneath them as quick as I can. Worst case scenario, if I got to weld the door shut, might as well have T-tops ejecto cedo. After premiering on June 10, 2013 in the United States, the show Street Outlaws has proven that it is one of the most captivating race-themed reality TV shows. The spin-off show, Street Outlaws No Prep Kings, is doing great on the viewers' charts as well, so fans are in for a swell time. With the new season of Street Outlaws No Prep Kings here, and while the cast has had many recurring characters throughout its four seasons, the current episode is missing a staple figurehead, Big Chief. The street racer, whose real name is Justin Shearer, has been surprisingly absent from the new season, despite Team 404 being present. Is something going down with Big Chief that we don't know, or is he not on Street Outlaws anymore? Let's dig into what really happened to Big Chief, shall we? Crown has been in the 405 for years. Congratulations, sir. And now it's iconic. Nice crown, man. Looks great. Thanks, buddy. It means something. It's fit for a king. Big Chief, born Justin Shearer, belonged to a Scottish ethnicity and was raised by his mother since his father passed away when he was still a child. Big Chief was born on 9th December 1980 in Louisville, Kentucky. Raising her kids as a single mom was hard, but Big Chief's mom managed to pull through without getting married to another man. She ran two jobs at the same time while also attending a nursing school to boost her career. The family moved to Oklahoma in 1992 when Big Chief was 12 years, and that birthed his interest in car racing. Big Chief's education isn't made public, but from all information available, he graduated college in 1998 and faced car racing squarely. Due to financial constraints, Big Chief was able to purchase his own first car, so he opted to work at a gas station. Big Chief's new job at a gas station clerk made him meet with his ex-wife, Alicia. He was 18 years of age at that point, and Alicia happened to be a street racing fan and a car enthusiast, which created an instant attraction for the pair. They began dating in 1998 and got engaged in 2005 and eventually got married. Big Chief and Alicia tied the knot on 29 September 2006. Together, they have two sons named Koval and Corbin. Big Chief eventually got a new job at Midwest Street Cars, which is a renowned Oklahoma institution that deals with car parts and various other car-related accessories. With his new job, he was able to get a racing car for himself. His first racing car was a 1972 Pontiac Le Mans, which he also named it the Crow, which he still owns today and holds a special part. Though he has restored it after his racing accident, it looks entirely different now. Speaking of his accident, despite all the safety precautions taken on the show, Street Outlaws is still a show about drag racing, and there were chances of danger that come along with such an activity, especially the spin-off show No Prep Kings. So, once in such an incident, Big Chief wrecked his car in a race in 2015, leading to serious injuries. While racing against Brian Chucky Davis, Big Chief crossed over the lane and hit Chucky's vehicle and flipped his own car, which landed in a trench. Big Chief suffered spinal cord injuries and a broken collarbone, while Chucky reported back injuries due to the dangerous incident. Both racers were taken to the hospital right away. In a public announcement following the accident, Big Chief declared, Thank you, everyone. I'm pretty beat up right now. Just woke me up for some breathing treatment, pulmonary concussions, crushed my L2 and L3 in my back, broken collarbone, and pretty beat up. But as thankful to be alive right now. They got me on nonstop oxygen and another round of CAT scans and x-rays coming up. The surgeon doesn't believe I'll need a back operation anymore, but they are going to keep me in the hospital again tonight to keep an eye on the lungs. Yes, I will be back. Big Chief is a household name now in Street Outlaws, but his career only took off the moment he began hosting the widely popular street racing reality TV series, The Street Outlaws. Of course, he wasn't involved with the show from the start, but he rose through the ranks with his racing skills. Now, he owns a merchandise store with various clothing items featuring his image, quote, car, or nickname, and this business seems to be quite a success. Apart from this and his racing time, Big Chief also likes to train at the gym. In 2017, rumors started flying around that Big Chief cheated on his wife, but he cleared it up through his podcast. This happened shortly before he publicly announced his separation after a long-term relationship with Alicia. According to the rumors, Big Chief was cheating on the mother of his two sons with another lady whose identity wasn't revealed to the public at that time. Big Chief was able to debunk the rumor through his podcast that the news only started when the public knew he and his wife were getting divorced. 
It's no secret, obviously, that me and Alicia, my wife of 10 years, have been having trouble or whatever you want to call it. Well, it's more than just having trouble. We are actually getting a divorce, and that is happening. Big Chief's new partner, Jackie Brosh, happens to be a racer and is a member of Car Chicks, a motorsport organization for women. She also comes from a family of drag racers and reportedly has been racing since the age of eight. This explains why the rumor started off, but Big Chief was able to curtail the spread. Big Chief's absence on Street Outlaws had sparked reactions from fans of the show. Prior to the new season filming, Big Chief posted on Instagram about his prep for the show, leading many to believe that he would be joining the cast as he usually does. Unfortunately, he has not been seen in any of the episodes so far, leading some to wonder if he was removed from the show. Big Chief's absence has led to many theories from fans, and many dug up his altercation with the fellow racer as the reason he left the show. While some believe Big Chief has some issues to sort out with the show producers, let's bust some myths together. According to Reality Tidbit, an altercation happened between Big Chief and Precious during the first episode of the season. While many believe that may not be enough reason for Big Chief to leave due to his status, some said he left because he felt he should be respected more. The rumors remain unconfirmed, but another source revealed that Big Chief's wife, Jackie, was also involved in the altercation. Precious seemed to be unhappy with the new rules for the new season, which led him to argue with Big Chief and his girlfriend. Aside from this, no further information was revealed to the public to subside the unending rumor. After the footage of the altercation surfaced online, Big Chief took to YouTube to clear up much of the speculation surrounding his departure from the hit program. In the nearly hour-long video, he he made it pretty clear to fans what is actually going on with America's favorite racing reality show. It's uncertain whether or not Big Chief will resolve his issues with the show's producers. In Big Chief's videos, he mentioned the show's production rules as the reason why he's been gone so long. It appears as though the real reason why Big Chief is not on Street Outlaws has to do with the production company rules, and he seemed to specifically take issue with the company's race your way in policy. This policy dictates that the winners of select preseason races would be taped to participate in Street Outlaws. However, Big Chief noted that a disproportionate number of Street Outlaws Memphis racers had taken part while others were left by the wayside. Also, remember, Big Chief has also stepped away from the show in the past to focus on himself and his family, so it's possible he decided to do that again for Season 4, which would explain his absence. While we may not know for certain if Big Chief will make an appearance on Season 4 of No Prep Kings, the Street Racer has made a post on Instagram confirming that he's preparing for filming to begin for Season 2 of America's List, all but confirming that he will be appearing for the show's sophomore season. In his post, Big Chief thanked everyone for their support on YouTube. He specifically mentioned that he should have The Crow running later and testing on asphalt during the weekend. He also reminded his fans that America's List will start filming its second season and that a huge announcement will be coming shortly after. Possibly the biggest thing that has ever happened on The Street Outlaws. His post indicates that Chief may be done with No Prep Kings, but he seems to have no desire to leave the Street Outlaws franchise just yet, and we'll see him out on the street racing with the Crow again soon. Big Chief's decision might have affected many of his fans, but we believe it's in his best interest. No Prep Kings race is risky enough not to have a better policy. Hopefully, both parties will get to settle it amicably, and Big Chief will be back on the show because we are not sure the fans are ready to part ways with Big Chief just yet. Or are you?